Now let's skip ahead for a second, assuming that some of you are already out there auditioning. I'm going to talk to you about slating your name. That's all part of going into the audition room, but there's some other things I want to tell you about the audition room. Everybody's watching you! <laughs> so if you're a younger beginning actor and you're watching this, make sure that you know that the more polite you are in the room, the more people may want to work with you for a very long time. Don't sign in until you're ready to audition or else you might feel rushed. Always be early. If you're not five minutes early, you're late is what I was taught in graduate school. And finally, check the sides when you get there because they may have changed since you worked on them at home. Never judge yourself. Never say I'm sorry. If you mess up, just stop, take a breath, keep going. Everybody does it. They might not even notice. <laughs> and never ask, how did I do? <laughs> Just be proud of your work, you showed up, you brought your best, and then be professional and leave. Let's talk about slating your name. What does that mean? That is our lesson today, slating your name. That means that you say your name in a full sentence. Practice slating your name as well as having full sentence answers in your own unique and honest personality. Be ready for the chat and interview section of the audition. So if I were slating my name and you were the teacher and you said, hello, slate your name, please. I would say, hi, I'm Sally Brown. And if you said, hi, Sally, what is your favorite color? You need to answer in a full and complete sentence. Don't just say purple. No, one word answers will not let your personality shine through. The point of the question is not just to say the answer. The point of the question is to get to show your personality. So a great way to answer might be, my favorite color is purple. I think it's very regal and happy and I have a lot of purple. I actually happen to be wearing purple today. So always answer in a full sentence. Now, what if the question is something like, tell me a little bit about yourself? You can practice that at home too. Again, the point is that the person asking wants to get to know your personality, the real you, on your best day. So have a few stories ready that really light up your energy. I personally usually tell a story about how I am a huge dog lover. I usually share a bit about how and when we rescued my dog. Keep your answer under about 30 seconds. Again, it's about seeing your personality. Have a few answers in mind and keep them fresh each time. You don't want to say anything about how you're dying to be an actor or about how nervous you are or anything on your resume. The person asking you probably has your resume right in front of them. The goal is to let your personality shine. Now, if you are binge watching these videos, and I hope you are, next up, how to begin to break down your script. Like, subscribe, hit the notifications bell, don't forget you can coach with me on Zoom, all that good stuff.